As the fighting continues, millions of Ukrainians have been forced to flee their homes. Lee Cowan will look at the humanitarian toll of war. But first, while Russian forces are gaining ground, their advance is much slower and far more difficult than expected. National security correspondent David Martin reports on what the war in Ukraine tells us about the abilities and shortcomings of Russia's military. The stalled and sputtering spectacle the Russian military is making of itself in Ukraine came as a revelation to General Frank McKenzie and almost certainly to Vladimir Putin as well. I am surprised at the, uh, the problems they're having. It should be very concerning to Russian leadership. As commander of U.S. forces in the Middle East, McKenzie has spent the last three years operating in close proximity to the Russians in Syria and knows their history as one of the world's great tank armies, all of which has been belied by the first three weeks of war. Well, they haven't been able to maneuver their armor effectively. You know, there's a tremendous history of that actually in the Russian military, being able to do deep armored operations. At the end of the Second World War, they were as good as that as anybody else. But uh, these guys don't seem to have remembered that. Should heads roll? I would not be happy if that's the way U.S. forces were performing. We have non-commissioned officers that are the backbone of the joint force. They're the people that actually make sure th things are done, that continuing actions are taken, that you dig in, that your tanks don't run out of fuel. McKenzie, himself a tank commander as a young officer, watched in disbelief as an entire armored column advancing on Kiev literally ran out of gas. If you're going to drive and operate a main battle tank, as a commander, and I have, then you are thinking all the time about fueling that beast. If you're not thinking about fueling that beast, then you're behind. And they appear to have not taken those basic logistical considerations and in, in, in train as they move forward. Are you surprised they seem to be uh, sticking to the roads? That's a, uh, that's a lack of training. You've got to get off the roads to maneuver. The roads are death traps, particularly for armored vehicles, particularly when you're fighting people that have good anti-tank systems, and the Ukrainians do have good anti-tank systems. On Wednesday, President Biden promised the U.S. will send 9,000 more anti-tank weapons. The United States and our allies and partners are fully committed to surging weapons of assistance to the Ukrainians. And more will be coming. Including the shoulder-fired javelin, which dives down on the top of the tank where the armor is thinnest. Using everything from the high-end javelin to the workaday rocket-propelled grenade launcher, the Ukrainians have destroyed several hundred Russian vehicles. Well, so how much of this is due to Russian incompetence as opposed to uh, Ukrainian skill? That's a great question, and I think we're going to have to see how this progresses a little further to be f able to finally answer that question. I would tell you this, though. The, the Ukrainians have shown great bravery in defending their country. It's less clear to me how aggressive and motivated uh, Russian forces are down at the individual soldier level, the platoons that are actually driving on the roads, you know, meeting the enemy. Ukrainian resistance foiled Russia's plan to take the capital of Kyiv with a lightning strike in the opening days of the war. With their vaunted tank army stalled, the Russians have reverted to siege tactics, pounding cities and their residents with rockets and artillery. But they are expected to regroup and try again. Is it conceivable to you that Russia could just flat out fail to take Kyiv? I would be surprised if that outcome happened. Taking Kyiv is very important to them, so I predict they'll try very hard to take it. And I think there could be a horrific price actually to be paid in the civilian population as they move against the city.